In lesson three, we're going to finish learning about the word interface. We'll learn about the quick access toolbar, the status bar, the zoom controls, the scroll bars, the document area, the mouse pointer, the insertion point, and moving the cursor. Now, unfortunately, in Office 2007, there is no easy way to customize the ribbon. So Microsoft gave us the quick access toolbar which is in the left corner right next to the office button. The quick access toolbar only has a couple of buttons on it such as save and undo and repeat. However you can customize the quick access toolbar with the commands that you use most frequently. We'll see how to do that in a future lesson. Down toward the bottom of the screen we have the status bar. The status bar shows you things like what page you're on, how many pages there are, how many words are in your document, and so on. And we can customize the status bar to show us other things. We'll see how that works in a future lesson too. Down next to the status bar are the views buttons. The views buttons let us change the way we view our current document. For example, the default view is print layout which is what your document looks like when you print it. There's also full screen reading, web layout, outline, and draft. And we'll talk more about these in future lessons. Yes, yes, I know I say that a lot, that we'll talk more about certain topics in future lessons. But remember, today's all about the basics. So I'm just going to give you a broad overview of a lot of these different commands, just so you know what you're seeing on the screen. And then as we go into future lessons, we'll talk more about the specifics of each of these topics. In the bottom right corner of our window, we have our zoom controls. You can use these controls to zoom in or zoom out of your document to basically make it larger or smaller on the screen. Or even click on this little button here to open up the zoom dialog box. Remember, a dialog box is just another menu with lots more options. I'll close this. We'll talk more about the zoom box later. Over on the right side of the screen, you'll find your scroll bar. We'll use the scroll bar to move down or up through our document. And depending on the size of your window, you might also have a horizontal scroll bar to move side to side. And finally, we have our document area. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we're going to create our document. It looks like a piece of paper on the screen. Now floating around on the screen somewhere, you should be able to find the mouse pointer. Now the mouse pointer might change based on what you're doing. For example, right now it looks like a simple eye. If I move over here, you can see some lines pop up next to it. If I move over the ribbon, it turns into a normal pointer. If I move over here in the margin, it turns into a backwards pointing pointer. So based on what we're doing, the mouse pointer might change. And I'll talk about what all of this stuff means in a future lesson. There is also something flashing on the screen called the insertion point sometimes also called the cursor. There it is right there on the screen. You can see it flashing. That's the cursor or the insertion point. And if I start typing, you can see the insertion point is where the text is inserted into the document. Don't confuse the insertion point with the mouse pointer, this guy. You can use the mouse pointer to move the insertion point by simply clicking somewhere. And that'll move where the text is going to be inserted.